Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am so glad you guys are here. This is me. You know, I usually do one, one of these a month or twice a month, um, unedited, unfiltered, just whatever's on my heart. And so um, there's also a new segment coming to Check the Rhymes soon. So stay tuned for that. I have to work out the kinks in my head and figure out because I have grand ideas. But sometimes I don't I don't quite have the plan on how to execute it quite yet. So just stay tuned. Um, the plan is for that to debut in December. So I wanted to share some good news because as I'm learning in this grief journey is you have to celebrate those wins, whether it is getting up out of that bed, taking a shower or, you know, stepping outside, whatever it is, whatever it is that you have to do for you and your, whether it's your grieving season, whether it's your, whatever season you're in, you celebrate those wins. So I realized that I have been just like, oh, this, this is for me. This is what I've got. Yay. And then I move on to the next thing. I don't pause and bask in it. <laughs> like what was his name on the boondock? Bask in it. No, oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> I, I don't have good sense, but I want to thank all of the people in Charlotte that voted, that have been watching, sharing, commenting on Check the Rhymes TV because because of you guys, Check the Rhymes TV was voted best talk radio show in Charlotte, North Carolina for the best of the city awards for Elevate Lifestyle. Yay! I don't know how, I don't have an applause button, but let me applaud myself. <laughs> I want to give y'all the backstory on that because uh, in 2021, I won for best Twitter handle for my other brand, Mofo Chronicles. And I remember being so upset because I had was well into like the first year of Check the Rhymes or that going on two years at that point. And I thought, why, why didn't Check the Rhymes get the award? Cause I was trying to pull away from Mofo Chronicles. So I got on my fill-ins, my award from that is hanging on the wall. I haven't picked up the one for um, the Check the Rhymes brand yet but that one's coming and I'll share it. But I realized at that point, like why are you sitting here being mad and pissy about like that, at least you were recognized. I had never been recognized for anything from Wolf Chronicles. So I was like, you know what? I put some work in on that Twitter handle. I guess now it's X, but I put some work in on that thing. You know, I, I, I've been on there for 50, 11 years. So, hey, thank y'all for the award. I went to the award ceremony and thanked everybody and acted like it was an Oscar because you know what? To me, being recognized, being honored, Getting an award means everything. My vision board has win an award on it. And it had for Check the Rhymes. <laughs> and I didn't even know. One of my former coworkers, Mike Salarte, who was also voted as best local sportscaster in Charlotte. Yay! Um, he sent me a tweet congratulating me and I had no idea what he was talking about. I was like, congratulations for my interviews that I just, posted like what are you talking about and he like sent me was like no this is what this is and I, I was like no so I had to go look it up I had another friend that I used to work with she sent me a text she sent me like the link and everything and when I looked at it all I could do I'm not gonna cry on this on this camera <laughs> all I could do y'all was praise God over and over and over and over because something I have been wanting so bad one was to be recognized in Charlotte in some capacity because I've been here forever but two to win an award for a project that I really revamped relaunched and did everything during the pandemic like it, it was even actually even before the pandemic i rebranded as Check the Rhymes in January, 2020. That first interview, I kicked the doors down with Ananda Lewis. And in that moment, when I asked her, "Do you will you please be my first interview on my new rebranded show, Check the Rhymes? She said, absolutely. And her trust and belief in me made me think that I can do this. 
I can do this. But also originally I had only planned to do this for a couple months to get a demo reel and get on about my business. But here we are four years later about to go into, um, is this four years later? Let me count. <laughs> well, almost four years later. Well, actually technically it is four years later because I started the YouTube channel in 2019. So technically it's four years later, but we're going into, um, you know, next, next January would technically be four years for check the rhyme. So I am just overwhelmed with all of the love that people have shown. And so I just want to thank you for loving my, my baby as much as I love, um, check the rhymes. And, um, I feel like I'm Beyonce talking about blue. Thank you for loving my baby. <laughs> so anyway, um, Yes. Yeah, so everybody else, I want to thank you too, because without you guys, there would be no check the rhymes. There would be no, none of it. And without, you know, my editing team, um, cause I, I, I left out Bill Woods. I'm, you know, when I posted it online, he did do the bow-legged Lou interview. Um, so he did that and he's working on a, a new intro for, for me as well. So without him and then without, without Chuck Holiday with Sweet 929, there would be no check the rhymes because Shamika cannot edit. <laughs> so without that team, um, it, it it wouldn't be here. So I just wanted to get those thank yous out. And, you know, then my support system, y'all, I swear I do a better <laughs> acceptance speech when I'm in the shower, practicing all the time or in the mirror. But let me get into the next thing I want to talk about. So next thing I wanted to share with you guys is I have two articles. Um, and of course, I can't find them right now. But the first one, um, there are two in this Go Escape magazine. It's USA Today Travel. See at the top over here. <laughs> Go Escape um, Winter, this issue. I have two articles in here. One is with Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson, pop icon, best friend in my head in the 80s, Debbie Gibson. <laughs> and she's talking about like all the places to see in, in Vegas. And we had such a good time chatting. Um, like I cannot wait to meet her in person. And then I also talked to Donnie Simpson, who you can check out his interview here on Check the Rhymes because we met a separate time to do that interview. But he gave me all the ins and outs about the DMV talked about go-go music and all the things. So yeah, go get this. It's on newsstands right now. And then the second magazine I have, look, a girl been busy. <laughs> Modern Woman magazine, y'all. And so in this magazine, I have two articles. So yes, you got that right. I have two national magazines, four bylines. I'm grateful. <laughs> in this magazine, Modern Woman, I spoke with publicist extraordinaire, Michelle Watts. And she, y'all, she is a modern woman. I had to talk her into even doing this interview because she is so passionate about, you know, her clients and, and getting the stories for them out that I wanted to share her story because it's just as powerful. Her background, um, working with Jay-Z and then going on to represent clients like Kevin Hart, D. Ray Davis, which is how I got D. Ray Davis on this show way back when. <laughs> um, Dion Cole and Lil Rail, like the list goes on and on. She has an impressive resume, but I also love the nuggets that she gives about why she started her own business. And honestly, it's a story we all can resonate with, woman or or man, you know, what teenager, whatever. You, you this story, you'll you'll understand where she's coming from. And then also in this magazine, Modern Woman, there's an article about dealing with the holidays and while you're grieving. Um, because of course, this is my first set of holidays without my granddad and now my niece. So, but when I wrote this, this was well before um, my niece had passed. So this is very helpful. I spoke with three, <laughs> three different practitioners, um, three different things, alternative um, therapy modalities, because not everybody resonates with talk therapy. Yes, talk therapy can help, but what else is out there? Because if you're sitting at Thanksgiving with your family or where, whatever it is you plan to do, and you have a moment of grief, what do you do? 
your therapist is enjoying her, his or her turkey and stuffing and um, wondering who made the potato salad. And you're sitting there having a panic attack. Like, what do I do? How do I look at the end of this table and this person isn't here? So I wanted to find out what you could do in those moments and just through the holiday season. So I spoke with um, Emerge Asheville's Rachel. She's a, um, I'm gonna mess her last name up. So I'm gonna just leave it off because I'm gonna tear it up. <laughs> it's like dirt, dirt schlag or something like that. And she is so amazing. She's an um, EFT tapping practitioner, which is, and I don't know if you guys have read the article of, that I have about EFT tapping, but you're basically, you're tapping on the, acupressure points, you know, just going through the motions, head, all that stuff. And here under your arm, it, listen, it is a stress reliever. So she walked me through that. Then I spoke with Laura Saltman and she is a um, medium slash mindfulness coach. And some of the mindfulness activities she talked about are, they're very helpful in focusing on your breathing. And one that I follow that she does talk about is do something for yourself every single day. If it's go for a walk, if it's, you know, dance around the room, if it's just literally lay there and stare at the ceiling because that's what you need in that moment, do it. And um, get out the house or something, just do something every day for you. And lastly, I spoke with, she's, uh, gosh, she just has so many titles, a uh, Reiki master, astrologer, um, tarot reader like she is all the things Danielle Aoka um and I probably messed her name up too but Danielle everybody knows her on um on social media as mystic and rich girl she's the owner and CEO of um, rich girl magic and she is very magical herself and with her tips and tricks on like explaining Reiki and how it can help because I've also been doing Reiki and it just helps relieve that stress that anxiety and um yeah, so I think you guys can learn something from each one, if not all of them, and get helping you get through the holidays. If you're grieving someone, it doesn't have to be that somebody died. It could be a breakup. It could be you lost your job. It could be anything. They have so many tips and tricks to help you. It's a two-page spread, honey, so you can find something to help you get through the holidays. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, and I just, as you've seen, I've been posting content, so I'm back doing interviews. Um, so I am super, super excited about what's coming up. Um, and then if you, I don't remember if I did a video about it, but we did the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame induction ceremony in October, and it was so amazing. I got to meet and, and chat with Scotty McCreary. Y'all know the American Idol, he's a country singer, and yes, his voice is really that deep. Um, his amazing wife, Gabi, she is a sweetheart, and I will never forget how to say her name because I did the voiceovers and I had to say it 50, 11 times till I got it right. <laughs> uh, but they are such a sweet couple. Um, you know, Mr. Bill Curtis from the Fatback Band, he is 91 years old. And I, once I found out he lived in North Carolina, I brought his name to the table like we should consider inducting him. And I'm so grateful that he was able, he's able to receive his flowers while he's still here. And what he said to me on the carpet, he said, I didn't think anybody was listening to my music. It's been 50, over 50 years. And I said, Mr. Beal, stop playing. Because I grew up listening to the music. Y'all have heard the music. That music has been sampled and remade and covered and everything else. Like, I was like, stop playing. And you know, he just said, you're just, when you just get caught up in you creating and making you, the music or whatever your craft is, you don't think that anybody's really paying attention. You're just trying to get it out of your system, basically. Um, he was such a sweetie. Um, he was hilarious. So I'm going to try to get him on the show, you know, 91 years old. I'm hoping he can understand Zoom because, you know, <laughs> he already gave me the wrong email address. So now I got to hunt him down. But yeah, so it was just an amazing group. We we also inducted Betty Davis. So meeting her family, um, some of her band members was super, super amazing. And the tributes that they did to, to her was out of this world. Um, you can always go to the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame, their Instagram page and or Facebook page and check out some of the footage from that night. Um, I'm like, what else? What else? What else? Um, that's, I guess, about it. Um, let me know as usual if there's anything you want to, or anybody you want to hear from, 
in the comments. Let me know who you want me to interview going into the new year or even in the next couple of weeks because I'm I'm back to scheduling because I realize like me doing nothing is not good. <laughs> I, I really love Check the Rhymes. And again, I want to thank you guys for voting for me for Best Talk Radio Show in Charlotte. As at first I thought, this isn't radio, but you know what? I'm not about to be technical with it. If you're at, if you're in the car listening on your phone, it's on it's on the radio, right? Or if you're like on your computer, however you listen to it, your ears are listening. And if it's radio to you, it's radio to me. Whatever. I used to be so offended when people call it a podcast, but you know what? I don't care. As long as you are watching, listening, whatever, subscribing, sharing, liking, all the things. I'm good. Call it what you want. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I just finished um, doing a TMZ appearance and it was fun as always. Um, yeah. So I am going to try to be more consistent with content. And I don't know if these videos help or not, but I just try to keep you updated on what's going on with the newest interviews. One is about... Um, like, who do we just talk to? Um, <laughs> Good Burger 2. Um, and then there was another one. I, you know, y'all don't forget to check out the Donnie Simpson one because that one is a really good one filled with lots of nuggets. And then the one with Sybil, that one is another one filled with lots and lots of nuggets. Um, the ones that are longer, those are the ones that you're going to get all like the back stories of things. You're going to get this inside look of things that, you know, we, when social media wasn't around that we didn't get sometimes in magazines, or if you didn't pick up the magazine, you just didn't know. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm going to go, but I want everybody to have a happy Thanksgiving. And if you are grieving, my my heart goes out to you. Do I do the heart right? I did the heart right. Um, <laughs> and if you um, have any ideas about things you want to see again just let me know and let me know on, on another note let me know if you if you want ladies edition podcast to come back you know over there Shelly and I we talk about all things women's health as far as fibroids hysterectomy raggedy doctors I mean all the things <laughs> perimenopause and um the list goes on and on oh yeah I forgot one thing I got to cover BravoCon this year. That was the other win I forgot. I am so sorry, y'all. I forgot to do that. I got to cover BravoCon because most of you know I work part-time for NBC Universal. And when they reached out and said, we need help with BravoCon, my first thought was like, yes, please send me. But then I also had a cheer competition that weekend. So I was like, okay, it would kind of be hard to go be in Vegas and be in South Carolina at the same time. So the magic of technology, I didn't have to go to Vegas. <laughs> so I did everything from from here and um you know the it was so fast paced it was live it was so much fun covering it was like 8 hours of just that high energy watching the bravo stars shade and dish and do all the things it was it was amazing so I got to write a lot of cool content um and like a first hand look literally as BravoCon was streaming before you guys got to really see it. So, and if you weren't there. So anyway, yay me. I'm just gonna give myself applause for all the wins. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys soon. Bye.